Hello beautiful people and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Brie. I make all kinds of videos here on YouTube and I am super passionate about content creation. This is gonna sound incredibly cliche, but it is the truth. When I was 11 years old, first discovering YouTube, I dreamed of becoming a YouTuber and here we are. I make a living creating content on different social platforms. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a realistic view about content creation and everything that's involved, whether you are looking to create content yourself on multiple platforms, or you're just interested to see how the processes and how I do what I do, I'm gonna share it with you. This is the status of each of my social accounts and where I'm at now when it comes to followers. Now, I think it's very interesting because YouTube is my highest paid platform and TikTok being the least paid platform. Numbers help, but it's not all about the numbers. I'm gonna share with you three things that I feel like can help you actually make money being a content creator. My tip number one, create good content. Hear me out. For you to be able to make good content, you have to be passionate about what you're creating. You can have the best equipment, you can have the supreme editing software, the best location and background, whatever. But if you don't have passion about what you're talking about or what you're doing in that video, people will see right through it. People are gonna wanna follow you when they see that you're passionate about something. You're gonna be intriguing to them. It sounds basic, but it is a big step into becoming a content creator and being successful. Tip number two, you've heard this several times before. I don't want to exhaust it, but it's legit. It's, it's legit. Number two, consistency. There's no way that you can get around this. It's something you have to do if you want to have any measure of success in the content creation world. The algorithms of social platforms will reward those that are consistent. I've seen it in my own personal experience, how I've limited myself by not being more consistent. Granted, not everyone is gonna have the opportunity to be able to just churn out YouTube videos or Instagram content, TikTok content. Not everyone's gonna have that opportunity. I sure did it when I first started out. I had a full-time job and I was just doing it for fun. But despite that, I still had some kind of consistency with my schedule because I made it a point to make sure that I post every other week. My suggestion to you is if you don't have the schedule to be able to be as consistent as you can, then make a schedule for yourself and try to do at least something. Test yourself out for a couple months, see where it takes you. If you have the unique opportunity to where you can churn out tons of videos, do it. Don't wait, do it. I've seen people grow because of consistency and that's why I'm telling you it's so important. Ideally, you wanna make sure that you're posting on social platforms multiple times a week. If you want the most success out of it and if you really are serious about making the money, multiple times a week. That's what it takes. If you don't have that in your schedule and you don't have the discipline to be able to do that, you're not gonna be able to make it, especially starting out. So if that's not something that you can do, it might not be realistic for you to think about making money as a content creator. Tip number three is negotiating. This is how you take yourself from doing something as a hobby to actually becoming a business. No matter what your following is, you have the power to negotiate with companies. You have a higher power of negotiating if those companies come to you versus you going to them. Even with a very small following, you can always negotiate product exchange for posts. Companies are willing to do that. Once you get yourself established and you have more and more companies coming to you, the next step would be affiliate links. You wanna be able to make commissions off the sales that you are promoting. Now, when that has become more consistent for you and you've been able to get affiliate links and you've been able to do product exchange and you're at the level where you're ready to start charging, that is where you take it and run with it. So there are several different um, gauges that you can find online of how much you can make if you have this many subscribers or this many followers, but I will tell you already that that will limit you. A really good tip that I have for you to be able to gauge how much money you should be making, sit down and think about how long it takes you to make the video, how much it takes you to film, set up, break down, edit, all of that. See how many hours it would take you to create a single video or post or whatever the case might be in content creation. Figure that out and then ask yourself reasonably how much money 
would this be worth you to make if it was a real job? And then you'll be able to set your own rate. You set the price on your time. You have to negotiate what you're worth with these companies. If they can't negotiate, then you shouldn't work with them. Don't work for free. You're worth so much more. Those are three things that you can focus on without being overwhelmed with all the information that's out there. Those three things. I really would be interested in doing a live masterclass. It's been in the works for quite some time, but I wanna make sure that it's something that you actually want. So if it is, please leave a comment below and let me know if you'd be interested in attending a masterclass with me. So now that I've got those three things out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and answer very specific questions that you have had for me on my Instagram. I don't even need to look at my phone for this question because it is a question that I get all the time, hands down. How do you get paid partnerships? How do you get paid collaborations? How do you get these deals? The simple answer, I don't focus on getting paid collaborations. It is not my primary focus. My primary focus is to do what I love, which is creating content, being helpful, enjoying the community, and those paid collaborations come. If you're taking the steps, like I mentioned before, that is how you are able to receive paid collaborations. It does take time, but if you are serious, that will happen for you. If you have good content, if you're consistent, and you know how to negotiate, the companies will come to you. The only time that I've ever reached out to a company was, I remember I asked Shea Moisture because I love their products and I wanted to see if I could at least get affiliate links with the company. I was completely shot down and I was told that if they needed my work, if they needed me, that they would contact me through their marketing team. So most of these major businesses, some people don't realize they have scouters, which are looking for very specific content creators to promote or advertise for their companies. Even if you don't think your video is big enough, even if you don't think that you have much of a following, they're looking, they're scouring the internet to find you. How do you know if a collaboration or partnership is legit. My steps at legitimizing collaborations and possible brand deals is to look up the company, research the company, go on Google, make sure they have a legitimate website. Some of these scammers have really good websites, so be careful about that. Look at the reviews of the companies. Usually if there's a scam or something fishy is involved, there will be people speaking about it. If there's nothing that you can find there, look on all their socials. How are their social media accounts? Are they very active? Do they seem spamish? I never click on any links in the emails that I get. I always make sure I look at the company name that they discuss in the email and I look it up separately and I go through and I make sure everything's legit before I decide to negotiate with that company or even decide to entertain their collaboration. How do you make sure your regular schedule with content creation. It takes me so much time. Um, it's trial and error, in my opinion. I feel like it's just gonna take you a little bit to get on a certain set schedule, and I haven't mastered that myself. I just started this new um, schedule where I'm posting two videos, two YouTube videos a week, along with staying consistent on Instagram pretty much every day. That is just something that you learn over time, and it's going to take you time, so give yourself that time to find your groove. Start with what you can do, and then as you go on and as that becomes easier for you, add more. This is a really nice question. What is your favorite part of the process and why? My ultimate favorite part of all of this is editing. I love video editing. I don't know why, I just feel awkward on camera. I feel so stressed when I have to do day in the life vlogs, to be honest with you. Taking pictures, like I, I, I could go without all of that. I could be an editor and I think I would really enjoy that. So that's to answer your question. Do you prefer Android or iPhone? I prefer Apple because I feel like it is better suited for content creation. That's just my opinion though. Come on, let's be honest, it's Apple. What is the hardest thing about being an influencer? So the hardest thing for me would probably be one, to balance your life in content creation, but that could also be just having your own business because when you have your own business, it's hard to stop working. <laughs> my job is to share a lot of aspects of my life because I'm a lifestyle you know, and beauty influencer. It can be hard to balance. I think that's one of the hardest things. The other hard thing, the perception that others have of you when you are an influencer slash content creator. Where do you get the music for your videos? So I personally use Epidemic Sound. That is what I do to use my copyright free music. 
I did not start using that until I actually started making money on YouTube. It's a subscription that you pay for every month and you're able to have access to copyright free music, which makes creating videos and content on YouTube a lot easier. And now with multiple platforms that use music, it's also really beneficial. Does it get tiring to be an influencer? Absolutely. Like I mentioned a little bit before, your life is your job and finding that balance can be very hard and I'm still learning, it can be very exhausting after a while, especially because when I want to go on vacation, I want to take you with me. And when I do fun things, I want to take you with me. So sometimes I don't get to enjoy those things as much as I want to, but I think it's very important to help you not become tired is to make sure that you give yourself a break. And that's with any job. That is all that I have for you guys today. I hope that this video was helpful to you. I hope that you were able to learn something new. And if not, I'm sorry I failed you. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you wanna hear more detailed information about how to become a content creator, comment down below that you want me to do a masterclass. If you wanna see me continue to grow and follow me on this journey, please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out and it truly makes my day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.